بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيرست فول از ماي جريت بليجر تو بي بارت اوف ذيس ايفنت اي وود لايك تو ثانك ذا اورجانايزنج اند ساينتيفيك كوميتي اوف ذيس ايفنت اند تو ثانك اولسو دكتور نبيل ناجي اند اول ممبرز اوف ذا ميليتاري تكنيكال كوليج فور ذا كايند انفيتيشن تو تو بريزنت ماي توك ماي توك is dealing with the role of geological methods and techniques in solving construction engineering problem. Uh, I am Zakaria Hamimi from Benha University, spent the, acad- or the majority of my academic career at Benha University, with some uh, years at uh, Sana University and King Abdelaziz University, and I have the honor to uh, attend many uh, conferences worldwide and to uh, co-editing uh, some uh, text books published by Springer, like the geology of Arabian Nubian Shield, the geology of uh, Arab world, and the geology of Egypt, and also the geology of the Egyptian Nubian Shield. And we are going to uh, to revise uh, these days the, the Phanerozoic geology and natural resources of Egypt. I have published also uh, some uh, 22 text books in Arabic, like this uh, text box. I shall start first with the fact that in order to decipher the uh, inner structure of the Earth, uh, three indirect tools used, like the, the study of the volcanic eruptions and uh, the study of meteorites and the seismic waves, from the volcanic eruptions uh, or the scientists uh, came to the conclusion that there, there is a direct relation between depth and density, and uh, based on the study of the uh, meteoric pieces, the uh, conclusion that the, the inner structure of the Earth uh, resembles in many respects the composition of the meteorites, and this is the, the, the latest uh, uh, meteoric or a piece of the latest meteoric event uh, in Chelyabinsk University in, in Russia. And based on the study of the uh, seismic waves, either the P and or, or its waves, uh, the boundary between the solid and the liquid earth uh, can be defined, or the boundary between mantle and the uh, the uh, outer core. And here we can see the inner structure of the earth, and the boundary between the mantle and the uh, outer core can be used as the reference fr- frame for the movement in and on the earth so geology is dealing with the uh, solid and liquid earth and the uh, geologist investigating the earth's processes such as landslides earthquakes floods volcanic eruptions and also exploring the 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 mineral resources hydrocarbon and uh, uh, study the 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 composition of the earth a wide variety of methods can be used to understand the Earth's structure and evolution, including the field work, rock description, geophysical techniques, and geochemical techniques, and many, many uh, techniques. And also, there is a relation between uh, the geology and other sciences in general, like physics, chemistry, biology, uh, astrology. Here we can see the uh, various branches of, uh, of the geology and the relation with the other uh, sciences. And uh, uh, modern geology uh, overlaps all other earth sciences under the umbrella of Earth's system, planetary uh, system. Uh, one of the, of the main uh, branches of the, of the uh, geology is the field structural studies from the field and the structural investigations we can decipher the uh, the geologic structures and uh, define the the mechanism of formation and the like like here the this uh, fault scar along the galala uh, uh, cairo asphaltic road and the calcification also in the vicinity of the galala university and this is the uh, the clay smearing along the Galala, along the fault plains. And we can, uh, we can uh, uh, 
define the, the crustal deformation and the, the uh, sense of movement along faults. Also, we can get an idea about the, the, the diabetic structures or salt that appears and uh, the, the effect of this uh, type of structure. Like here, we can see the salt tectonics impact on dam uh, construction and the negative effect of the salt domes in this paper also. And we can uh, uh, get an idea about the, the stresses, risks, and uncertainties of the, of the drilling around the salt. Here we can see the, the sinkholes because of the of the upwelling of the uh, of the salt domes in uh, Louisiana and the mud volcano floods you can see here we have a, a mud or highly pressurized mud uh, uh, rising because of the of the high pressure and we can see here the uh, distribution and uh, characteristics of the mud that appears and mud volcanoes in Taiwan and the negative effect also on uh, construction here or on the surface and this is can be used as a potential indicator for uh, the for for uh, uh, study of the regional stresses and pressurized uh, layer depth because as we can uh, see here, the stretching of the of the uh, uh, mud that appears. Sometimes uh, these uh, uh, diabetic structures uh, out of control, like in East Java. This is took place several years ago, as we can see here. Also, one of the of the important uh, uh, branches of, uh, of geology in the geophysical studies. We have global geophysics and exploration geophysics. Seismic method based on the travel time is one of the most common geophysical uh, method. And this is has many applications like in hydrocarbon exploration and the mineral exploration and we can uh, see here the uh, or we can define the the sense of shearing along the a strike slip fault like here from the 3d seismic volume visualization and interpretation and the second uh, geophysical method is the magnetic method based on the vibration of the uh, earth's magnetic field Here we can see the magnetometer, and we have also airborne magnetic surveying and magnetic surveying has many, many applications like in locating buried pipes and the cables and in mapping the buried materials and foundations like using the potential methods, either magnetic or gravity and mapping concealed dikes, faults, and steeply dipping geologic contacts, mapping also archaeological uh, sites and remains, and detecting or deposits, like here we can see the random illegal uh, prospecting for gold using the uh, metal uh, detectors, and also in engineering construction site investigation and regional geological te tectonics, the large scale geological structures, and also in uh, medicine like the magnetic resonance uh, imaging. And we have also the marine magnetic surveying, Sir Edward or Teddy Pollard and Morris Owen introduced this uh, branch of uh, geophysics for the first time, known as marine geophysics. And here we can see the proton magnetometers, 
third method is a gravity method based on the change in rock density by looking at the changes in gravity this is a gravimeter we can do gravimetric surveying and here we can see gravity imaging we can also uh, trace the, the the geologic structures or the crustal deformation from this kind of uh, mapping or imaging and here we can see the applications of gravity surveying like in exploration or deposits in solving regional geological problems in exploration of oil and natural gas deposits in hydrogeology in solving some engineering problems like mapping of dam sites earthquake problems tracing uh, buried uh, river uh, channels and fourth is the electrical uh, method based on the fact that the subsurface formation structures or deposits and so on uh, possess different electrical properties and we have uh, some four uh, uh, methods or electrical methods like resistivity method electromagnetic self potential and induced uh, polarization methods and here we can see the uh, electrical instrument Saskal and we can see here from the study of the 3D resistivity and drive geotechnical uh, property distribution this is a cheap method compared to the seismic method and, and uh, frequently used to identify the shale intercalations here we can see we have many many applications of electrical uh, survey like the uh, determination of the amount of dissolved salt presence of contaminants uh, the percentage of prosody and permeability the electrical or the determine the electrical characteristics of the surrounding area and many many uh, applications so geology can contribute to overcoming some uh, construction engineering problems that may uh, arise either in urban development, in transportation and related infrastructure, in water resources and related infrastructure, in mining and other related activities, in agriculture, in processing and uh, manufacturing industries, in power and infrastructure, in hydrocarbons, in waste disposal, and in activities in natural conservations here we can see the tensile fractures because of the presence of uh, maybe the 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 shale or the, the the swelling of the shale layers we can study the effect of the geology on these uh, constructions here we can see the the these uh, fracturing and uh, the the shale and this is Jabal Muqattam area part of Jabal Muqattam area so engineering geology surfaces include physical and mechanical properties of rocks like the assessment and classification of rocks density, porosity, moisture content, permeability, electric resistivity, electrical conductivity and radioactivity assessment and classification of mechanical properties of rocks the estimation of some physical and mechanical properties of rocks using shallow geophysical measurements geochemical mineralogy and petrographic assessment of rocks evaluation of rocks for different uh, industries like aggregates for concretes uh, for ceramics for building materials cement materials rock exploration as raw materials for different industries assessment of rock solutions and calcification or karst life features subsidence collapsing and fracturing of ground surface and concrete and aggregate tests and assessment also the physical and geo uh, technical properties of soil like the assessment and the classification of physical properties of soil the assessment and classification of uh, geotechnical properties of soil assessment of uh, expansive soil and treatments estimation of some physical and mechanical properties of soil using shallow geophysical methods lateral and vertical configuration of soil bodies 
using shallow geophysical methods, either electric or shallow seismic or electromagnetic. Soil assessment for different civil constructions, foundations, dams, roads, slopes, and so on. Assessment of water logged areas and um, uh, treatments, soil investigation and drilling. Here we can see that the geology or geological engineering is uh, the main uh, part of ge geotechn geotechnical engineering. And also in site investigation, like in assessment and classification of physical properties of soil, assessment and classification of geotechnical properties, also the soil assessment, the assessment of uh, water logged, the soil investigation and drilling, or rock cuts and slope stability, through the assessment of rocks and discontinuities and fracturing, like the rock mass classifications for slope, for tunnels, for foundations, stability analysis for slopes and rock cuts, the rock cut designs and stability, design of supporting and protection measurements for slopes and rock cut, geomorphological analysis and flash floods, analysis of earth, rocks, soil, creeping, suggestion of, uh, of supporting and protection treatments. Also, the geological hazards surface or surfaces, including engineering geological hazards, ground subsidence, weak rocks and soils, landslides, rock cuts, caves, uh, and uh, karst like uh, sinkholes, uh, rock cuts and slopes, uh, geological hazards, including geomorphology, flash floods, groundwater level rising, soil and rocks, and so on, uh, seismic or seismicity hazard and zones, including the assessment of earthquake activity of areas, assessment of faults and new tectonics for earthquake activities, detection and mapping active faults, and also the, the construction of hazard mapping zones and uh, assessments, mitigation and supporting for sustainable development and natural reserves. And also we can use the, the remote sensing and the IS uh, for study the change detection through time, natural hazard mitigation, flood uh, mitigation, droughts and desertification, and uh, monitoring and uh, mitigation, geological applications such as geological mapping, mineral exploration for engineering mapping, slope investigation analysis, environmental applications, including soil, water, and air pollution investigation and mitigation, land use, land cover, and mapping, natural resources exploration, also in hydrocarbons, in petroleum, either oil and uh, natural gas, in water, either the running water or groundwater, in mineralogy, in archaeology, in cultural activities, and in uh, monitoring, and also in site investigation, in processing of all types of satellite images in land cover classification, land cover chain de detection, construction global, uh, global vegetation map, lineament extraction, geological interpretation, and so on. So geologists uh, can play the main role in, in constructing. So uh, geologists uh, play the main role in constructing uh, basic maps, like the geological maps and the constructions, subsurface geological maps, geomorphological maps, hydrogeological maps, construction material uh, resources maps, and also in engineering geological maps, like uh, site investigation location maps, engineering geological maps, table of engineering and geological characteristics, urban uh, suitability maps, like the slope steepness evaluation maps, uh, engineering geological evaluation maps, waste disposal and groundwater pollution, and uh, also in uh, detecting the seismotectonic zones, and constructing the, the seismotectonic maps. Like here, we can see the, the uh, seismotectonic um, areas in, in Egypt. And also, uh, geologists can play uh, the main role in uh, defining the, the hazard zones, like here. 
and in detection the earthquake risk and prediction either the long-term methods using seismic hazard maps or probability analysis based on historical earthquakes uh, records or geological earthquakes records or a slip rate on uh, active areas short-term prediction like the study of the four shocks ground deformation fluctuation in water uh, well levels a change in local uh, uh, radio wave characteristics and uh, the, the, the behavior of uh, uh, some animals and also uh, uh, geologists uh, can uh, define the geoparks and uh, national parks or geoheritage like here in Wadi al-Hitan area uh, the role of geology in urban planning Geology can contribute uh, to the to solve some problems like selection of the most environmentally uh, favorable urban um, settlements, and the selection of most suitable areas for town development, for uh, also the the contribution to achieve the most economical and environmentally uh, conservative solution for the urban plan specific assistant during the development design and construction stages also in engineering geological problems that may arise and that should be considered like foundations ground stability excavation water supply and engineering geological aspects that should be considered including geology, geomorphology, and hydrogeology. And the, there is a difference between hydrology and hydrogeology. And in construction materials, in most disposal and ground water pollution. Here we can see the sliding uh, took place several years ago in El Muqattam. This is uh, El Dua area. We can see here the, the, the geology can, can uh, play an important role in mitigating uh, such uh, landslide. Here we can see the effect of this landslide. And sometimes uh, this is uh, the, the famous earthquake of 1992, the, the release of energy from here, from, the, from uh, an area near Dahshur. And you can see the famous building in Heliopolis Square. This is a collapsed uh, building. Sometimes you can see the effect of, uh, of uh, liquefaction after the, uh, the earthquakes like in Japan. And this is what happened in, in, in the area known Atfih, Atfih area in El Giza governorate. Also, the role of geology in transportation related infrastructure the transportation infrastructure as we know the backbone of the modern economy uh, risks arise from hazard in ground either natural or anthropogenic or artificial geotechnical assessment is of great importance like here here we can see the the effect or the topographic expression of the collapse fault uh, southwest of Aswan area, you can see here the fracturing and the new tectonics here, and also here in the, the topographic expression of, of the Kalabsha fault. We studied uh, this area uh, several years ago, and we have been over there. Uh, two uh, months ago. Here also we can see this is the effect of the 
uh, new tectonics and in other areas you can see the tensile fracturing because of the new uh, tectonics like here and this is in in, in, in area in England and also here in the underground in uh, area called Flint Hall uh, Farm uh, God Stone this is in England and this is a good paper introduction to ground related risk transportation infrastructure so important to know the frequency of natural hazard of greatest concern and the linkage between different natural hazards and important also to know the primary impacts of different kinds of uh, natural hazards on infrastructure operation and operators also the role of geology in solving problems related to water resources here we can see the percentage of uh, of the of the water either uh, I mean the river Niles, the rain feeds, the desalination, and the groundwater, and so on. Here we can see the the, the effect of the of the uh, flash flooding occurred several years ago in in Jeddah area, and the source was uh, uh, near el, near Jeddah in El Gweza area and Wadi Fatma. We can see the effect of the this uh, 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 gigantic uh, flood this is also in uh, Jeddah area also in uh, Jeddah it was very very dangerous flash flooding affected uh, the entire uh, Jeddah city here also also the application of geology in solving problems related mining and other related activities here we can see uh, this is Sukari gold mine and geology uh, can play uh, an important role in solving uh, some problems related to the mining and activity in determining the 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 gold bearing uh, uh, shear zones and in solving many many problems here we can see that uh, the, the, the mining has a negative effect on environment like this area the acid uh, mine drainage in the Rio uh, Tinto River and also this is a good paper a review on the impact of mining operation And these are the main topics in this paper, including the impact and mechanism of mining, of mining to the environment, the mine dump pollution, and uh, the radioactivity mines. Here we can see the 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 uh, the uh, different types of toxic uh, of toxic. Uh, uh, materials in uh, some countries like in Oman, in uh, Zambia, in, in South Africa, in Korea, in Western United States, in Zimbabwe, in USA, you can see the effect of, uh, of these toxic materials like copper, manganese, strontium, iron, and uh, so on. And finally, this is my, my talk. I'd like to thank you once again for your uh, kind invitation.